Willow. Willow. No, not you, Blue. Willow. Baby girl. Willow. Come on out, honey. We're gonna go for a ride. Come on. Come here. Blue, you gotta stay here, buddy. No ride for you today. Come on, honey. Let's go. My Akbash Livestock Guardian Dog, Willow, has been having skin issues. When I first adopted her in 2000, what year was that? 2000, when I first adopted her in April of 2018, she was just recovering from having some hot spots on her chest. The area on her chest was, was shaven and that's how she was when I adopted her. She didn't have any additional issues with hot spots for a long time. We went, I know baby girl. So we went from April of 2018 all the way until this last fall of 2019. I started noticing she's had some hot spots again. I talked to a veterinarian about it and they said just to shave the spot, let it get sun exposure, put some iodine on it or peroxide because she was chewing at them and then breaking her skin and possibly there could be infections. So just treat it, let it get air exposure and sun exposure and it'll heal up fine on its own. I had recently switched her dog food as well a couple months earlier. The veterinarian also suggested it could be from the dog food because I had just recently switched her to a different kind, a different brand. So I switched her back to the kind of dog food she and Blue had been on since I've had them. And they were they had no issues at all when they were on that dog food. So I switched her back to that dog food. But one of the spots, I saw a spot of irritation kind of on her rib cage where she had been chewing at, where she was developing this hot spot. So I did what the vet said and I, I shaved it. It was way bigger than what I thought it was just by looking at it before shaving it. I kept having to shave and shave it and I kept finding more and more of the hot spot. After seeing that, the veterinarian prescribed her an antibiotic. So I gave her that for a week and it cleared up. Her skin cleared up so nicely and so quickly. And then we were heading into winter at that point and we had a pretty wet fall and a very wet winter. You settling down back there? Good girl. It's kind of like eczema in that the moisture can aggravate her skin and cause these hot spots, most likely. So it was a really rough winter. She had a lot of hot spots. We were trying to manage it. And then the spring was just as bad. Long, wet, cold spring this year. And even our summer, we've had rain just about every day. With all that inclement weather we've had, she's really struggled. Uh, she's had a lot of hot spots and skin aggravation and she's just not been happy. I'm taking her today to a dog groomer. She's gonna get shaved, shampooed, scrubbed, bathed, all that, get all cleaned up. My thought is she's outside all the time, she's dirty, it'd be a good experience for her to kind of get a reset, to get her skin scrubbed clean, get her hair, her, her coat has been terrible, it looks dingy and, and just not in good health. So I'm thinking we'll shave her down, get her cleaned up, get her back to zero. And then she's gonna spend some time at my dance partner's house to spend some time indoors in recovery. There's way more room at her house than in mine. She has a fenced backyard where Willow can just go out and do her business. You're gonna go get a bath. Yeah, stinky girl, you're gonna get a bath. Get all cleaned. Come on out. Willow, come on. That's a good baby. Hello. It's okay. Hello. Hi, Veronica. So oh, sorry for you. being late. I'm fine, oh, thank it's you. Okay. Hi, cutie. I'm filming a little bit. If that's okay oh, about okay. the experience. So. Hi. You're so cute. So she's suffered from hot spots since last fall. My thought was just to get her cleaned up because she's just always dirty from being yeah, outside exactly. and then she's gonna spend some time in the house giving her some time to like okay. heal back up. And that was my concern because 
Especially if she's outside and especially with the wet weather right now. With her coat, it's probably, I guess, harboring that moisture to where her coat doesn't want to dry on the very bottom. And my only other concern is once her hair does grow back, it will um, probably grow back different where that undercoat might not come back to protect her in the winter and summer. Okay. Um, if she's a fully outside dog most of the time. Uh, Hello. could adapt to problems to that. Being outside, getting cold or getting hot, that's just kind of picks of the trade with double-coated dogs. Yeah. If you'll notice here, like on her neck, I do see her. like this, her skin on her neck is completely exposed. So like, it's been like that for a couple months. Um, okay. I don't know. I don't see any. I've had her collar off of her yeah. for a while. Obviously, it's been back on because um, I've been taking her on some walks. But um, I've had it off for a long time, thinking maybe just needed that to regrow. But the dog groomer's insurance didn't cover any visitors to come back in the area where she does her grooming. So I'm not going to be able to show Willow getting groomed, but we'll definitely be able to see her once it's done. All right, the groomer just called and said Willow's ready, so we're going to go pick her up. Willow. <laughs> you look silly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you can see all her hot spots place and yeah. treat them. Um, I did see one that's weeping here. Um, started weeping in the bath. So. Okay. Yeah. We'll just and have then, to treat that. Yeah. And then just her normal hot spots. There is kind of a, not as bad, but another weepy one right here. You can see in there. Okay. And then, um, just with the shampoo itself, her skin was starting to get red. I really? used a um, kind of a sensitive shampoo. Um, and I've just noticed that her skin just runs really hot. So I don't know if that's just from the irritation. Um, but yeah, it's just kind of everywhere on her. On okay. Girly. But she's, you can tell she's um, itching on. She's itching right here. So you can tell that's where the spot's coming from. On her sides, the discoloration, she's able to get this foot over here and itch. And then she just licks these. Um, so that's why this one probably just gets um, red, but these ones kind of get more yeasty because she's um, licking them. Do you recommend, like, does she need to come back and get groomed again in a certain amount of time that you think would be helpful for her skin in any way? Or? I would definitely talk to either Devin or your vet to see if there's a special shampoo you guys can use. Okay. Um, to help clear up these hot spots if the ointment that you guys aren't, are using isn't working too well. Okay. Um. It will be a little easier, I think, now to, that the, all the fur is gone, that we can treat it better, I think. Exactly. Oh. Here you go, Willow. I was a little surprised to see how bad her skin was after she's been shaved, so... I took her to the vet. We're just leaving there now. The vet gave me some antibiotics for her. That's gonna, of course, clear up any infection she might have. The vet said there's a high likelihood that she just has chronic allergy problems that she's just developed over the last several months. So uh, it's probably gonna be a thing that she's gonna battle with. As part of the treatment plan for that, we're gonna, we're gonna keep her clean, keep her coat short. Um, I have this I have this medicated shampoo for her. Uh, we're gonna have to bathe her once a week with it for one month and then after that point, she's gonna need it monthly. We are at Dan's partner's house. You wanna go see Poe? Let's go see Poe. Hi, how are you? I'm doing fine, but Willow here. Not so much. She's missing some hair. Hi, Hi Poe. Willow. You look silly. <laughs> she looks ridiculous. Oh.